Hey everyone, just wanted to do a little video tutorial on the new Samsung 5.8 cubic foot double door gas range. This is probably the closest you're going to get to a commercial oven in your own home for the price. And I gotta be honest with you, this thing is very, very nice. So let's go over some of the features here. Um, so once again, it is a double oven. And if I wanted to cook just on the top here, a little lever all I'm gonna do is push that in and I'm just gonna open up that top door okay if I wanted to put some cookies in there great I don't have to use the entire oven if I wanted to use the bottom or if I wanted to use this oven as a whole all I'd have to do is take the handle and pull on that and there you go so there's your bottom shelf okay there's your top there's your fans right there for your convection all right. And there's your divider all right this divider slides in and out and what's nice about this divider is if i'm cooking a turkey down here and maybe some cookies up here i'm not going to get that mixture of flavors because this is going to prevent a barrier okay now once again if i slide this out i can take it out put it on my countertop and i can use this oven as a whole if i was cooking something bigger and you can see up on the screen here it's saying that the insert divide has been removed so once again just take it out and put it up on the table somewhere now if I wanted to use the top and the bottom to cook two separate things, I just slide that back in. And this says here, select cavity. And what that means is, I can select if I want to cook on the top, the bottom, or both at the same time. All right? So, let's take a look at the screen here. It is a solid glass. At least that's how it feels to me. I can hit upper. I can hit bake, roast, or broil, convection on both. Okay? If I wanted to do the lower, I just come over here and hit lower, and I can set the time and the bake temperature and all that. All right. So, come over here, look at the knobs. The one thing that my wife and I were always nervous about with children, you know, them coming over here and playing with the knobs. Before we went to bed, oh, is the, is the gas still on? Maybe they mess with something. And we always put the child proof on there, but sometimes they weren't always foolproof. They would come and rip them off. What's nice about this? Is that all you got to do is turn this a little bit and that light comes on and that's with all of these here and that's saying hey listen you better come and check this to make sure that these these burners are off okay in case the kids were playing with them or maybe you just forgot to shut the stove off that's going to tell you to come back over and, and take a look you have oven lights in here they're actually very bright and how you control those as you can see there's no back part to this so if i wanted to mess with the lights here i can go for the upper light if i want to put the low light on on the second shelf click that on the low you can see that's on now and that's off if i wanted both of them i would just click that to all and you can see all okay so let's look at the burners this is a 22,000 btu range it heats up very quick and the flames are very hot what i like about that is i use a wok a lot okay the other neat, neat little feature here is the wok holder. And you can see that it's able to be removed if you need it. A lot of other stoves, if you were to put a wok on them, you know, they, they get somewhat hot, but the flame doesn't really come up around the bowl. And you just have the heat here. This right here allows those flames to come up around the sides of the wok and really gets it nice and hot. So that's an added plus. Okay, you got a burner here, smaller burner here for maybe some soup or sauce. Got burner here, burner here, and then you got a large griddle. Very nice. You can do the smooth side. If you're making a panini, you can use this side here. And you have a large burner in the middle. Back here is the vent. All right. On the older model that I had, the vent would actually come out around, up around the microwave, and it wouldn't even go up underneath the, uh, the vent hood. This right here goes directly underneath the microwave, so that's very nice. And you can also see that they made this little extender that goes over top of the countertops. So you don't have to really worry about digging down for crumbs in between your stove and your countertops anymore with a toothpick or a uh, file or whatever. Um, so they solved that problem. Now, the one thing I will say about this range that you know, I'm a little disappointed in is the Wi-Fi. You can see here that there's a little Wi-Fi symbol here and there's an app that you can download on your phone. I tried it on the iPad. It didn't work. 
Um, but I just can't get this range to hook up to the Wi-Fi. And the only thing this really does is it allows you to adjust the heat, you know, or turn the stove off if you want. You know, if you're outside, you have a picnic, you know, and you say, hey, I need to cook that roast a little faster. You know, you can adjust that on your phone. I wouldn't use that all that much anyway, so it's not really a big deal to me. But if it's part of the stove, I would assume that it should work. Um, and I just can't get the hook up. I'm no, no way, shape, or form an expert when it comes to computers, but um, I'm somewhat savvy. And for some reason, like I said, maybe I just got to play with it a little bit more. I just can't get it to hook up. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But you can turn the Wi-Fi off. Um, you basically come over here and, you know, you can adjust your clock. All right, your time. You know, there's so many options here. You can decide if you want it in Fahrenheit or Celsius, you know, the heat. You know, you can do it in military time, do it in regular time. You know, so many different things you can adjust on this, this range. It's, it's really unbelievable. They, they really stepped it up when it came to, you know, the uh, technology on these things. So, once again, uh, I hope this helps. Just a small little review that I wanted to do for you all.